Today I'm gonna compare these two beauties. If you're interested, please stay with me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for clicking on this video. My name is Aksana. Uh, today I wanna do comparison between my two mini bags, uh, Chanel bags, and it's going to be my reissue in metallic finish and my uh, Chanel mini square in regular black color. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today guys I'm gonna compare to these two beautiful bags and if you are interested, please stay with me Just a few words about these two bags I want to start with my recent purchase and it's my Chanel mini in reissue in its latest collection It's 19k and it took me actually a while to obtain this bag uh, It was a real hunt actually to get this bag and when I did the unboxing I am gonna link also unboxing video um, Everybody not everybody uh, many of you noticed or many of you even if noticed didn't want to uh, upset me That there was a little dent on the back Mona Lisa smile and I just want to uh, come closer to the camera and show to you and that was not really a dent it was totally my mistake because when i was storing um like as you know the chain is really heavy and it's a full size chain which is normally on like normal reissue bag i kind of stored it right on top of the the, the bag like you know right on top of the mona lisa smile and those like you see those like really very very pointy let me just come closer to the camera do you see this kind of like very very pointy links? Do you see those kind of very very pointy chain links? They can easily damage your bag if you're not careful. And um, that's what I learned and I'm glad that I learned this from very very beginning. So now when I store my bag I'm extremely careful. I kind of even thinking it would be a good idea to kind of almost wrap this metallic chain and don't store it just like you know on top of the, the bag. I was actually called my essay and I surprised that for this specific model, they don't provide the, the classic dust bag because I think for this specific model, the classic dust bag would be the best ever used because in that case, you can store the chain separately and the, the bag separately and kind of like, you know, prevent um, these accidents from happening. But just in general, I want to bring these two handbags together and just give you a little bit more of visuals um, if you're thinking of one or other to purchase. Um, other major difference in these two handbags, uh, like, I mean, I'm not going to talk about the leather quality or the hardware, etc., etc. I'm going to talk in general between Square Mini and Rishu Mini. But the other major difference is at its price and in Canadian dollars, it's $500 difference before taxes. The Square Mini is $3,500 and the reissue is $4,000 before taxes. In Ontario, Toronto, we have 13% taxes on top. So obviously in American dollars, it's going to be a little bit different or in Euro, the price is going to be different, but I'm absolutely positive that you have significant difference also in price between Square Mini or reissue mini or rectangular mini for that matter um, so that's the major um, once again difference between them but the major <laughs> uh, similarity between these two handbags that they're both mini they're both absolute cuties they're both in my humble opinion for the special occasions or when you don't really need a lot um you know to carry with you i would say if you're like obviously young girl teenager girl and you don't really carry a lot with you you can use this for every day if you're more of the working woman or young woman or a more mature woman obviously you need to carry more a lot on daily basis so this handbag more of the uh, special occasion or fun handbag for the weekends etc so i want to also compare the length of the chain so I, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put them together and show for you so when i put them together one next to each other you can see 
that it's almost the same length pretty much if there is a difference it's just a one quarter half of, uh, of an inch difference and obviously the the major difference between reissue and regular mini or uh, square mini or rectangular mini is that actually um, reissue has four grommets and you can do either shoulder shoulder length or you can do the crossbody length that's the major difference in my um, opinion here is the difference in the chains in the design uh, you all know quite well the the classic design of the Chanel chain and this is the original design of the reissue that was being designed by act, uh, actually by uh, Coco Chanel herself so there is a major difference between these two chains and there is lots of history behind this design because that's what she said it remind for her the um, the chains that nuns used to wear in convent when she was a child. The other major difference when it comes to rectangular mini or square mini, that the bottom is very, very firm. So obviously it doesn't change the shape. When it comes to the reissue, that's the major point of the reissue, that the bottom can be folded like that, or it can popped and then you have a little bit more squarish design. So this time I think I'm going to start with my cell phone because that's the most important. I have to fit my cell phone. Then I'm going to use my Chanel card holder and this is from Meteor Dart uh, collection. really love this card. It's beautiful. Then I'm going to use my uh, Chanel 6 gear holder and my Chanel key holder right now um, it's uh, really packed to the brim. That's how you go. And you can see on the side, I have plenty of space. I can put several lipsticks. I can put uh, a floss if I need, a chewing gum, etc. That's what's happening. And I can put my glasses on top. I'm closing, I'm a little bit uh, stretching, especially just the one side, you can see compared to the other one because this one is almost um, half empty so anyway now it's uh, very neatly packed and um, actually very very comfortable uh, let me see if I can transfer all this item inside my uh, square mini and if it's gonna work out that's what I have right now inside my reissue and let me see if I can transfer everything inside my square mini so we're gonna start, I'm gonna remove everything from my reissue mini and we'll try transfer everything inside my square mini. We will see if it's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's just try. So once again, I'm gonna start with my cell phone. My cell phone goes in, you can see it right there. I'm going to put a card holder inside and I'm going to put my six keys. There you go. I can put also a <clears throat> couple of lipsticks. I can put my floss inside. There you go. And I can put my glasses right on top. Um, Little bit. Um, I mean, I can put everything inside, but closing it's a different story. You can see it's a little bit stretched, so I have to unpack. So let's say if I'm gonna remove the card holder, it gives a little bit more of space, and putting some of the credit card inside my six keys. Now I was able to close. Um, I can say 100% that the, the square mini holds definitely less compared to the reissue. You can even see it right there. Um, it, it's obviously visible that this bag is slightly bigger compared to the square um, mini. Square mini is kind of more cuter. 
Uh, one thing I want to mention uh, about mini bags, it's kind of like seems to me mostly people talking about the mini bags it's almost like for the younger girls slimmer girls etc but i think mini bags are for everybody and actually recently Yvette she did a video about like you know mini bags and plus size women and I totally agree with her and I actually like her video so so very much um, I think we should just wear whatever we like it doesn't matter what kind of shapes we are it doesn't matter what kind of age we are as long as you like the handbag as long as it makes you smile and happy Happy, we should use it no matter what and nobody should tell us how to limit ourselves you know so therefore I totally in love with two of my uh, mini bags it's not often that I use these two bags because obviously for the work they don't really hold much and you know I need lots of stuff um, at my work Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate, put your questions and comments below. If you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate uh, your support. And obviously, I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye-bye.